But how cute are they? I really love them. Hello, in today's video, you're gonna learn how to make mini file folders using recycled manila folders. I'm Donna, and I bet you've said it's okay for you. You're so talented, you can make anything. Well, have you? Okay, not everybody. But if you use my printables and follow my instructions, I'm confident you'll be making these, taking photos and sharing them on Facebook in no time. You're going to either cut these out by hand or use a scan and cut machine. So you can cut them out uh, using my freebie, which is this pattern here. And I've got some index cards that you can print out as well. And they fit perfectly inside these little mini file folders. Firstly, you'll need to go to my website and download either two things. If you're cutting them out by hand, download this printable. You can print it directly onto a heavy cardstock. So that would be about a 250 GSM to 300 and then just cut it, cut it out and that would be your template. Then you could get a recycled manila folder and say that was your template and just trace around it directly onto this manila folder and there's your folder ready to make. Now once that's to this stage, your folder's almost done. All you've got to do is match it up corner to corner, there and there. Get your bone folder out. Use your bone folder to press down in the middle and then bring it across that way as well. And your folder is made. This is what I meant by you'll be confident making these because they are super, super easy. That is for the hand cut method. The scan and cut method, you will just go grab the FCM file from my website, download that, send it to your scanner cut machine and then cut that out. So once you've cut that down, because this is to these A4 pieces or, or fool's cap size in Australia are too big for your 12 inch scanner cut mat. So you've got to shorten them a little bit to fit on the mat. And then once they're cut out, you can cut them out in manila, folder you can cut them out in a colored card stock if i want to cut this out in this card stock i know this card stock is too small so i've got to reduce this in my scanner cut machine now if you're printing this out from a pdf file you can reduce it down to say 80 percent and get a smaller folder. Now this, this folder is much smaller than this one and I didn't do this on a PDF, I've done this on the scan and cut machine. So you could reduce this by 50% and you'll get something really tiny. You could reduce it by 80% and get it. So you whatever you reduce this by is whatever suits you. Obviously the index cards have been made to fit this full size. So if you reduce this by 80%, you will need to reduce this printable by 80% so it would both fit. Now I do have this available in a printable in the A4 size and the US letter size. It just makes it a lot easier for you to print. You don't have to think about how it prints out. There we go. 
I thought I'd cut the whole three of them out because that's what I wanted to do. And that literally took two minutes to cut the three of them. So the scanner cut is pretty quick. So I shall... Once you've cut them out, line them up corner to corner, get your bone folder, crease it down the middle, one done. If you want to stamp on these or do any decorating, you still can because you just unfold them. They're not hard at all to work with. You can distress ink the edges if you wanted to, but how cute are they? I really love them. They look so good in either the recycled manila folder or the printed papers or cardstock. As promised, I'll show you some decorating styles. This is the manila style. And what I've done is I've got a box full of stamps and envelopes. So this one here is, oh, look, it's got the, I can read the 27th of January. I don't know how old that is, but it's a corner of an envelope. So I've got quite a few of these, lots of stamps and the corners of envelopes. And I've ripped the stamp off the corner and then I get the corner of that envelope and I just pop it on the corner of the file folder but what I do to get it because it's all stamps are always on the right hand side of the envelope I just turn the file folder over the other way so I've got a left you know the tab on the left side so this one here for instance has got a little bit of paper I could do that to this one so I just turn it over I get my glue out and I'll glue this part of the stamped envelope down. I'll glue that into place onto the corner. You got to be careful with this glue because it dries pretty quickly. It's, it's hard to see where the fold is on this. There it is. So once you've got that into the corner, pat it down and come over to the back and glue the back in place. Now normally I would put the side down first and the flap over the top because that's the way the envelope would look. And how cool is that? I love that look. So go through your old envelopes and see if you can pull the corners off any of your old envelopes. This one's from 1981. My girlfriend sent me this. I've got a box full of letters that I received back in the day when we used to get snail mail before email started and before Facebook. So from Candy, my friend Candy. So I love the little ones. I think the little file folders are so cool. Now let's move on to the, the mini file folders themselves. These are the mini, mini ones, and these are the actual minis. Now this one here, I just got some little tiny individual alphabet letter stamps and stamped on that one and the printables they look really good either left natural you can leave them with no in uh, distress ink on the edge or you can distress ink the edges i think they look pretty cool distressed so there are three styles one is plain so that you can put whatever you want you can use your stamps and stamp notes or anything you like on there and one is recipe and it's got a date area and one is to do with a date area so that is one idea for decorating the second idea 
I've just got this big stencil sheet and I just put the numbers five, six, seven and I used antique linen to get that lovely colour. So that's a great idea as well. And it doesn't, you know, once you put your label on there, it doesn't need a lot more. It comes up really nice. Links. This one here, I printed the paper out in green and when I printed it I wasn't sure at first if I liked it because it looked pretty yucky but then once I cut it out it turned out okay so that was just a, a marbled paper and that's that one you can also print it out on parchment paper we all seem to have parchment paper in our stash these days But what I found worked the best was the 200 GSM in the premium digital paper. It printed this out quite nicely and the colours worked out well. Yeah, it's white, but it just the background turned out quite nice because that's the way I designed this so that it would look like that. So that is deliberate that it is it is designed to be printed out on white. So these colors here were an afterthought. So it is designed to be printed on white, but you can print it on parchment or a color, depending on what you like and what journal that you're going to put it in. If you wanted to get really brave, you could try a color and stencil over that with your distress ink and you know pop something inside it that might be for happy mail and you could send that off to somebody i've got some recycled vintage recipe or recipe index cards that i've taken out of a book i've popped them in there so if you've already got some index cards that you think will fit in here again that's how you can use your pdf to either print it out a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. So there's another idea. You can use some, this is another recycled end of a um, index book that I thought too good to throw out. So it's just all folded up. That's how it was in the book. So all I done was cut it down and pop that in there. And it's a, like a little file folder system in a file folder system. So things like that work well in there. I've got this printed back of a manila folder and I like this. So what I've done is I've got the off cut that's left over from the scan and cut machine. And when I sit it on here, I can see that I can actually place the pattern on the scan and cut to cut out that area there. So. I'm going to put this on my mat and then I'm going to scan this into the machine and place the pattern right there and cut it out so that I can use this area and turn this into a nice little file folder. So I'll go and cut that out and I'll bring it back and show it to you. So it is the smaller size, but that's okay. Fold it in half. And it's all good to go. <laughs> that turned out really good. So what I'll do now is I'll pop in some of my little email, the, the little blank email business cards. I'll keep them in there. Now here's another idea and that's to print out some little sentiments and I've printed them out on these are three quarter inch rounds and I've also done a couple with a one inch but I've done these in two tones so I've got this color to sit on top of this color so I'll show you this one here so I've got this in the blank so you've got these two with the these are pre-printed so i've got this one here with the blank 
I'll, I'll just show you. So you get a one inch punch, cut out your base colour and you would have that prepared to glue here but that's that one. Then you get your printable. So I've got a printable. This printable here is for my Facebook group. So this is not going to be on my website. Uh, these two will be. This will be on my website and this will be on my website. But this one here is for my Facebook group. You print these out on your coloured paper or your white paper. It works for either. The smaller one, which is a three quarter, and you just line it up very carefully. If you don't want any of that black line to show, you really have to be pretty precise so that you get none. Get some distress ink out. Do the edges. Don't come in too far on the edges because it is such a small round. And glue that on there. You can do this one as well. Even though I've got a dark green here, the brown vintage photo, this vintage photo, this one, it still shows up. This one here, I used this paper here. So I just cut out a one inch disc and then used one of these and glued that on top. So there's so many variations that you can do that look so cool. So you just go ahead, put some glue on that. So it's all designed to go together. It, all of the pieces are designed so that they fit. And you can put your own little note stamps there. So this one here of their individual letters, I just stamped the word note and I punched out some tiny little discs. That's just a spotted paper and stamped a little bird over the top of that and glued it onto my index card. So there's another couple of ways to use those up. Here's another one where I've just had the recipe card and I just stamped a recipe theme down the side there. So there are so many ways that you can use this up. Now the next one, the next idea is this one. We're going to use the cut out mini folder. I've got a punch. Now this punch is like it's meant to be cut out all in one go and then you put all these pieces together somehow. This was in my mum's stuff. I inherited all my mum's craft belongings and half of the stuff I don't know what to do with. So this one I just go, well, what could I use it for? So I just turned it over and I put this on the edge and I just put it in such a way where I don't cut that and I don't cut the tail out and I just cut that out. And I just nicked it ever so slightly with the with, with the bird, but once I ink that up, you won't notice it. So I'll get another plain card. So I'm going to put that on there. Not everything has to match. It's just, you know, I'm just showing you options that, you know, it, <laughs> Like, it, they're just ideas. So pop that there. And we'll get some of this here and put that behind there. You can either have it square and just have that little bit showing there to make it match up. 
So I'm just going to tear that so that corner's not showing as much there. There we go. So it just gives that a little bit more interest. Okay, so we just need to put a little bit of glue around here. This glitter glue is pretty good. It dries clear and it stays. And once it's glued down, it stays there. Fold that over. Now we've got a matching file folder and index card. Well, there's probably only just, you know, one more. You know, we might use this one. This is just to show you that you can really get in and use up all your, your bits and pieces. Like this is just an off cut that I pulled out of the box. You can... You can get that. You don't have to use your normal browns. You can use whatever colors match your papers. This is the spruce icy one. What is it? Iced spruce. We'll just use these white ones just to show you that you don't have to print out directly on to the colored cardboard if you you know if your printer doesn't do that or you've only got a black printer that will only handle a finer paper just print straight on to the paper and cut it out in the you know a straight onto the white and use your paint use your distress inks use all of these things that you've got to you know color it up and do what you can with what you've got and then you can pop that on there and that looks pretty good. If you want to add a bit more blue, get the broken china out and just add a bit more blue. So you can color up your white paper to make that look pretty good. Change things up. Nothing's really set in concrete. And if you don't like it, print it again. So there's just a couple of ideas that will get you out of trouble if you don't have any coloured papers or much of them. I'm Donna, thanks for watching and bye for now. We have frozen time I don't want this to be over